Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing for a Sunday ride. Lots of stuff happening. I've got so many cool new features on this 2018 Goldwing I can't wait to tell you about. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motovlogs. So this week, Honda released their update to the woefully inadequate and buggy audio system and navigation system. And I posted a video on how you can download this update on your computer and apply the update to your 2018 Goldwing. It's something that anybody should be able to do themselves. But of course, Honda made it as difficult as possible. First of all, you have to have a Windows PC or you have to have a Macintosh that can run Windows software which is what I have. I have a, uh, a laptop that I have Parallels running on and I can run Windows software on that, so that's how I did it. But anyway, rather than go through the whole thing, you know, watch the video if you want to update your system. However, this comes with a warning. Uh, after I did the update, you will lose, or I lost, and you will probably lose all your Bluetooth pairings. So if you have anything paired to your Goldwing, like a Bluetooth headset or a cell phone, you're probably going to lose those pairings. And not only do you have to repair, but I had to go in on my Cardo PackTalk Bold and completely clear off all the pairings. I had to basically do a factory reset before I could get it to repair to the Goldwing. Now, my experience after applying the update is that I have to increase my volume level on the Goldwing about four or five ticks above where it was before. I could get by fine on a setting of about 13 or 14, and now I have to have about 17 or 18 to get the same amount of volume. I don't know why. And I'm also getting a lot of background noise that I wasn't getting before almost like a white noise through the headset. So I'll leave it up to you as to whether or not you think you should apply this update to your Goldwing. Now, I didn't give those warnings before because when I made the video, it was right as I was doing it live. I didn't actually have a chance to test it uh, before I put out the video. So anyway, the video's out there if you want to try to do the update. Supposedly another update's coming in January, so we'll just have to wait and see. Lots of other cool stuff to tell you, but before I do, I want to remind you, if you like this video, if you like these motovlogs, uh, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I put up new videos. And I have put up quite a few new videos in the last few days. Right now, I'm sitting behind my beautiful new 24 inch F4 Customs windshield. And by the time you see this motor vlog, I should have the video out on a review of all three F4 Customs windshields for the 2018 Goldwing. So I encourage you to watch that video and see what makes these windshields the best in the industry. Now unfortunately they cannot avoid bug splats like this one right here, but they're very easy to clean. In fact, you can even clean these with a window cleaner and a paper towel. Now don't do that on your Honda windshield, you'll ruin it. But an F4 Customs windshield is has a proprietary coating um, and it's impregnated into the polycarbonate and that coating makes it possible for you to be able to clean this windshield 
like no other windshield out there on the market. Now, a couple of other things I've added to the bike since we last talked is the Show Chrome Accessories Isolation Fuse Block. And I added this because I was just about to do a video for Show Chrome on their new mark LED marker lights. And when they first sent me the pre-production units of those lights, it basically said you're going to tie into the existing wiring on the Goldwing. And when I contacted them about that, because you know the Gold, the 2018 Goldwing has a CAN bus electrical system. And it wasn't just about that time Show Chrome got back to me and said, yeah, you're not supposed to tie into the wiring on the Goldwing. You need to use this isolation fuse block. So I installed it, and it basically has a series of fuses and relays to protect your electrical system. And you're going to have to use something like this if you're going to add electrical goodies to your Goldwing, to your 2018 Goldwing. Now, on the, on the previous model Goldwing, you didn't really have to do this. You know, you could just tap into a wire for a light or a tail light or a turn signal, no problem and the electrical system could handle it. But these new high-tech CAN bus electrical systems um, are strictly monitored by ECUs and you just can't tie into them like you could. Uh, so you basically are running from the battery and you're getting your power from the battery rather than from the wires that deal with turn signals and brakes and all that. But anyway, watch the video. I highly recommend if you're going to add anything to your motorcycle, electrical, lighting, whatever, um, even a charger for your battery charger, you can plug into this. And uh, it's really a great little piece of uh, equipment. And then I installed the LED marker lights and tied those into this isolation fuse block. And I got to tell you, I th when I first saw these LED marker lights, I thought, well, that's kind of cheesy. Yeah, I'm not really sure they're, you know, that I would even want them on my bike, but I tell you, once I saw them on the bike and got them working, they are super, super cool. Because not only do you get the amber running lights in the front and the red running lights in the back, but they're connected to your turn signals, so they light up, you know, when you hit your turn signals. Very, very cool. And you know, I've always been one that said the more lights, the better, because more lights, more safety. You know, I think it's a safety item, but it's also a cool feature. It looks cool. So we've got the F4 Customs windscreen. We got the LED marker lights. We got the isolation fuse block. Just all kinds of new videos out there on how to do these things. So make sure you check it out. And also the video on how to update your Navi and audio system too. Always appreciate the little likes if you click the little thumbs up on the videos. And if you want to post any comments, really, really appreciate that. I'd also like to take a second to talk to you about the glforum.com. If you're not a member of the glforum.com, it's the fastest growing Goldwing community on the internet. And um, it's, it's a really great place to ask questions. You know, some of you send me emails and you're asking me questions about the Goldwing, and I guess some of you think I know everything there is to know, but believe it or not, I don't. And uh, some of you probably think I don't know anything. But there's somebody on the GL forum with all the members that are out there that will probably have an answer to your question. So if you have a question or if you just want to share some information about a ride you took or want to throw up some pictures of your Goldwing so everybody can admire it, check out theglforum.com. I actually run that forum. It's my own forum. And uh, we'd love to have you join us. And that's you can usually find me there talking about something. And there's lots of members that know a lot of stuff about a lot of different things. So if you ride a Goldwing or F6B or a 2018 Goldwing or Goldwing Tour, that's a good place to be. Now I'll also take a second to remind those of you that have a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing or F6B, don't forget, I've still got my maintenance DVDs available from my website, cruisemansgarage.com. 
You can also get them at cyclemax.com, wingstuff.com, and socalmotogear.com. And all of my maintenance videos are also available on demand in streaming format. And you can find all that information on my website, cruisemansgarage.com. So anyway, I'm about to get back to the house. This is a little bit of a short motor vlog, but I did want to touch base and say hi. I'll be talking to you again soon, probably later this week. So that's it for now for Cruise Man's motor vlog. <laughs>